I was really hoping I could get to work on the Steve vs. the Emperor video today, but I've seen so much about female custodians that I feel like I just have to talk about it. Now, you've clearly read the video title, and I'm gonna say it right now, it's not that deep. Female custodians being a thing isn't that big of a deal to me, but the way that it was implemented is a big deal. I'm gonna give just a very, very brief rundown before I go into it and why it's stupid and whatnot, but basically, for the entire 40-ish years that 40k has existed, there has only been male custodians. That's just how it's always been. And while I personally didn't think that that was a huge piece of the lore, there is a solid chunk of the community who's upset about this, and I, I think that's pretty justified. Half the community is upset that this was just retconned in, and then James Workshop just decided to gaslight their fans, and then the other half who's upset because, well, 40 years of lore is now inaccurate. I think a lot of it comes down to the fact that we have factions like the Sisters of Silence or the Sisters of Battle, but then you take a primarily male-dominated thing, which such as the Custodians and the Space Marines, and then you throw women into them, it makes you question why you even had the Sisters of Silent and Sisters of Battle to begin with. Why didn't we just have, you know, the Silent Brotherhood or something like that and just have men or women? Why don't we just have the Brothers of Battle? Because that sounds stupid. They essentially took away all of the prestige or all of the accolades of being within the Sisters of Silence or Sisters of Battle because now there's a higher step, there's another rung on the totem pole that you could hit. It doesn't matter how cool you are as a Sisters of Battle, you could be a custodian. And I don't know if James Workshop meant to do this, but by making the only example of a female custodian so quote-unquote competent, even though it's fucking stupid, they have retroactively made every other female faction look incompetent. Because if they were any good, they would have been represented sooner. But I do think the work around this is actually best said by Major Kill, and uh, I'll link his video down below because he does a very, very good job of explaining how custodies represent what it means to be a man, but you don't need to be a man to do that. If you have the same valor, the same heart, the same courage, then you would still represent those male traits, and you would still come out looking largely the same as your male counterparts. Also, in our current day, we have the technology to swap genders, or at least some analog to that. I guarantee you in 40,000 years, we are going to have that shit mastered. You could turn into a goldfish if you wanted to. But I think the worst of it is just the gaslighting of the fans. You know, the, the hey, female custodians have always been a thing, and you guys are just sexist for not believing that. Which, as much as I hate to bring up real-world politics, is just James Workshop becoming liberalized like the rest of media. Every piece of media is slowly working its way left because BlackRock does not give you money unless you do exactly what they say and you push their agenda. Now, I'm not out here saying that James Workshop is going out there and buying up all the single-family homes so you'll never be able to own a house, but I am saying that they are reading the writing on the walls, so to say, and they know that if they don't go left fast, they are going to be losing all of their investors. Now, moving away from politics, I think the biggest thing that upset the most people is that the Emperor went from this homoerotic god that just really loved to be surrounded by really, really muscly, oiled-up men, who just happens to make even bigger, more muscly, and more oiled-up men. I mean, shit, look at the Primarchs. They are the biggest, most muscled-up men possible, and I know damn well at least one or two of them is a big fan of the oil. My Emperor doesn't let women into the cool kids club because they can bring cooties. My Emperor is out there trying to convince the galaxy that he is totally straight and that it's just a coincidence that all of his close companions are super buff, oiled up men. But I, I guess that's enough rambling for this quick little video. I just wanted to put out there that this does change a lot for the setting, but not in the way that we think. This essentially just sets the precedent that James Workshop can do whatever, whenever. They can just throw in female space marines and say, yeah, they've always been there or male Sisters of Silence, and yeah, they've always been there. This just proves that them selling models or their bottom line means more than continuity, and that's not a problem. They are a company that focuses on selling miniature soldiers, and they will do whatever it takes to do that. The lore plays second hand to that. I think especially as people who like to look at the lore, it's important to remember that their bottom line is to sell miniature army men or women, 
that you can paint, that you can play with on the tabletop, and that's it. The books, those are just supplemental material to get you to have backstory for your little man so you can be more invested in your minis. James Workshop has always prioritized sales of miniatures over continuity of lore. Look at the Leagues of Votan. They went from being essentially eaten by the Tyranids for, you know, a decade or two to, oh yeah, they're just hiding out in the galactic core. I guess moral of the story is that this is a company that's trying to sell miniature soldiers and whatever backstory they have to put on the box to make you buy the soldier, they're gonna put on it. Yeah, they might isolate a few fans, but now think of how many new people are going to be interested in the custodians because they're now represented. Previously, yeah, you could have just said that some of your custodians wearing helmets were females, but now you actually have a female model for a custodian and you don't have to spend hours kit bashing a Sister of Silence or an Inquisitor together. I do hope that James Workshop actually understands the implications of this that the Sisters of Silence can no longer be equals to custodians on any level. No longer do we have the excuse of, well, they're the female variant of custodies, because, well, now we have female custodies. There's no excuse for how some random woman in the Anathema Psychana can keep up with the single greatest gene-crafted warrior the Emperor ever made, outside of the Primarchs. All in all, in an attempt to make Warhammer more inclusive, they have put themselves into a very weird position where two or three of their factions are now completely useless. 